made a lane and niggas can't get over. I can't mess with rappers, they be bogus. Where they get a pack and keep it open. Big drippers stand up in the ocean. Everybody trapping, we get open. He ain't focused yet, but he ain't got motion. Made a half a ticket off the motion. I wanna kiss you, girl. I wanna kiss you, girl. I wanna love you. Yeah, I must touch you last. Cause the niggas don't fuck up. I feel like I'm not up at your side. Girl, I see that you. Good morning, y'all. I'm currently on the way to Pilates. Y'all, I didn't even mention this in my last video. Well, by the way, welcome back. If y'all like new, make sure you guys subscribe because if you don't want to see more of me now, you don't want to see more of me later. I promise you, I'm addicted if you don't let me keep watching the OC. I didn't mention this in my last video that I started Pilates like, I want to say like um, a week ago, two, two weeks ago. I did my first intro class to Pilates and that same day I signed up for a membership because I really loved it. My best friend in New York, she does Pilates and so does her mom and they love it and they tell me like, oh girl, you can try it. Like it's so good and I was like, mm, I don't know, I'm scared. But they were like, no, you can try it. And and I don't know after the passing of my grandma I just needed something like productive to do and I just wanted something to start anyway for like just you know like just to keep my body going keep my body healthy and also just to like have something to wake up early you don't have to take the um, early classes there's different days and different classes to accommodate you but I, ch I choose the 831 normally depending on what instructor is there because I really love um, the one I've been going to lately but yeah, so your girl is a Pilates girl. A lot of people think, oh, it's just for old people, like old people, because I thought that too. But not really, you know, I mean, I'm probably the only person there. But I can carry a conversation with somebody who is way older than me, like, so I don't know. And a lot of them don't even know how old I am. Like, they just don't know like they probably think like oh i have kids at home or something but yeah i really do enjoy pilates like so far this is like with my fourth class and it really is a good workout because it's like you probably would look at people doing it and probably think like oh they're not you know getting the workout in but like when you're actually doing it you're breaking the sweat like your body be heating up like i be out of breath they like test us with like different exercises that i feel like i've never knew that i could even work out before or get sore before like my ankles and stuff like that like i'm like whoa like i didn't even know i could burn this so yeah i really do enjoy it and i just enjoy like the environment it's really calming it does give you a workout so it's like a perfect balance of like i'm breaking a sweat but because there's an instructor there you are doing everything you know correctly it's not like you're just doing stuff and have no idea like what you're doing you know i'm actually here right now my instructor literally just got here i think this is probably her first class of the day so that's probably why i'm just getting here so i have some time before i can go in i can go in like five minutes before and it's already 8 13 but i'm going at like 8 25 usually i've been running late but i've just had to learn like what's my gotta wake up or whatever because you know people go to school and stuff like that so i had to learn better time management skills because like even in high school i would like to school every day like oh my god like, and when i had my own car it was like i was gonna come and i was gonna come and even when I like took the bus, cause I did take the bus in freaking high school and in middle school. Even when I took the bus, I just would be late and my mom would just come in the room and be like, what are you doing? Why are you not out of school? And I would just be like, ma'am, I just woke up. So my time management skills used to be horrible but we are working on it you know like this is a new week it's currently tuesday monday i was trying to straighten things together but i have a start of a new week i delivered a huge like grocery haul well it's huge to me because i don't be getting that much groceries at one time like that's what i like to call compra i don't do a lot of that you know because i don't have a family so it's just like i don't have to shop for that much people but i did like a, a grocery haul or whatever and i get groceries delivered because i'm not carrying all that stuff upstairs i'm not doing it and i'm not gonna put nobody who is my friend or somebody close to me through that pain of carrying that stuff upstairs because I know I don't even want to do it. So they're going to get delivered today from 2 to 3 p.m. But I'm going to get home at 9.30. Um, the class is an hour long. So I'm going to get home around 9.30 and um, I'm going to take a shower, just throw something on, get myself together and then I'm going to go to a Panera or something like that to edit the rest of a, vi a video that I was supposed to finish editing yesterday. But just sitting down in my living room, I just couldn't be productive to edit it. I don't know why, y'all but i just couldn't look at it so i'm gonna force myself to just be in a different environment to try to edit it because if it was up to me i would edit butt naked in a row and in my bed but i'm trying to be more productive lately so yeah
So as y'all can see, I'm home from Pilates. I just took a shower, but I'm gonna go to Panera and I'm gonna edit the rest of my video. Hopefully I have to come back home to be able to open the door for my groceries but I'm sitting outside the door in the heat because it was cold but now it's hot again, so. Welcome to Florida. The weather just don't know what it wants to do. But so yeah, I'm gonna edit for like three hours and try to see what I can get done. Cause I do like editing in the comfort of my own home, but I could sit here and edit all day, like literally, and just be on my phone at the same time scrolling and watching TV. I just want to be in an environment where like I'm like, oh, I want to go home, so I work so I can go home. And also, I really want Panera right now. I was trying to find a cafe that like I could go to instead, but I don't really want to go to a cafe. I really want some food. And you know, your girl is blind, so your girl gotta wear her glasses because I'm not trying to get a migraine being on my laptop for hours. You know what? I can't see. That always happens to me. Like, literally. I'm not trying to do it. So, yeah, without further ado, let's go and let's get this edited and done. And by the way, I lost my nose rings, y'all. That's aggravating. I also have to come back home and plan for the rest of this week. And I don't want to do it at Panera because I'm only trying to just focus on editing there. Like, I'm not trying to do anything else besides edit because I really want to get this done. I want to post this video tomorrow. So. I really, it's crunch time, you know what I'm saying? But let's go, y'all. Your girl's hungry, and I'm talking too much. As you can see, I'm back home early. I had to leave Panera Bread right before I was like just about to be done editing the video. I had like probably three more clips to edit and my groceries came and I have perishable things. So I'm about to go and get them. The person who delivered them actually delivered them to the wrong door. They delivered them to my neighbor's door. And I was like, oh, thank God I came on time because they delivered them to my neighbor's door. So I'm finna go get them and put them away real quick because I do have stuff that can possibly spoil. And I have stuff in my fridge that I have to clean out a little bit too because from like cooking, I had made but and I had like extra ones that I just never ended up eating them and I had that meat that were from the empanadas so I have to go take them out so let me go get these groceries real quick get this kitchen together because I want to get back to anime I was like on a roll and I really want to finish and upload it tonight so it'll be posted by tomorrow so let's see Yeah, so I got a lot of groceries. I got a lot of snacks too because it's embarrassing when somebody come over and you don't got no snacks. Like, you need to have snacks in your house. Cause I know if I come over, can I have a snack? I'm just playing. I don't go to nobody's house anyway for me to get a snack from nobody. But that's why I keep snacks back here. But I told y'all in my vlog when I moved in that I only had one pack of noodle left or like two. That's crazy. Like, I don't care how much money you make. I don't care how old you get. You get a cute box of noodles. In your house, I got me a 12 pack of chicken flavor. Only chicken or shrimp. I don't do none of the extra, but preferably chicken. Water, raspberry lemonade. And I actually ordered another thing of this with this lemonade, but when you get delivery or like pick up from groceries or whatever, which I highly recommend doing, like if delivery, you have to pay a fee, but like if you want to pick up groceries instead of like walking around and buying them yourself, you can also do that. There's no fee for curbside pickup. And they put it in your trunk and everything, y'all. So please, if you don't feel like walking around the store or if you a girl and you alone or whatever and you just feel uncomfortable, like just, you know, walking around with all these bags and going to your car, you know, it's safe if you just go through curbs I pick up or whatever with no fee but when you do that sometimes like you have to substitute items because sometimes like you're not the person buying it so you don't know if it's actually in the store so like they have to substitute it from different stuff they didn't have this one so they gave me two of these but I get charged the price of whatever they actually gave me so you know I'm not getting like cheaped out my money yeah I forgot I had groceries up over here I have cranberry mango cran mango okay I like a lot of cranberry juice but cran mango is my favorite I also got a lot of meat to cook I got some breakfast sausages I got turkey bacon for breakfast I got some pork chops I got some Italian sausages for spaghetti I got some baby bag ribs I definitely need to buy some freezer bags I got some ribeye steak. I got two packs of Atlantic salmon and that's self-explanatory. Like salmon is delicious. Like bad bitches eat salmon. Here's that crab mango I was talking about. Turkey bacon for breakfast. And then I got some romaine lettuce. Picked up that whenever I buy the ones that are in the container, they actually stay fresh longer. A lot of times when I used to go to the store, they barely had romaine lettuce that wasn't gonna expire the next day. So 
I got some iceberg and the iceberg goes bad so fast. I got some pineapple chunks. I also got some mango chunks and some strawberry chunks for smoothies. Some pasta, my favorite pasta is penne. I got some cornbread mix. Y'all probably like, girl, who asked for a grocery haul? Like, just skip this. Got some shredded cheese. Parmesan and some whipping cream for when I want to make some homemade Alfredo sauce. I would just need to get some mozzarella because I put some mozzarella in it too. And then I got some chips, but these chips are not for snacking. These are if I want to make some like nachos and stuff like that or some rotel dish. So I got some real restaurant style chips. I like lemons anyway, but I'm trying to drink more lemon water. I got some olive oil to fill up my dispenser. And that's it. I have a lot to put away. So I'm gonna just hurry up and put this stuff away because I still wanna finish whatever I have left to edit because I wanna post it tonight and I still have to wake up tomorrow for Pilates and plan for the rest of the week. So I'm going by fast. So let's just hurry up and do this real quick. in the kitchen or whatever i actually took out some shrimp to make shrimp penne with some mushrooms and some shrimp or actually maybe i could do chicken because i don't feel like peeling off the shrimp yeah i'm gonna do chicken because i don't feel like peeling off the shrimp oh. i just don't feel like this i'm gonna do some chicken instead because i gotta wake up early so i could just make some chicken and some mushroom pasta real quick after i finish editing these clips and planning for the rest of the week. Tomorrow I have to go get a new ID. Or I don't know, I might order my new ID, but I just lost mine and I just took a new ID picture. So they're gonna be like, damn, how many IDs this girl had in the system? I'm like, what do you do? Girl, I just lose my purses. That's really what it be. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna plan real quick. Never say much, but man, that's a lot to know. Feel like the difference between us really starting to show. I'm looking at their first week numbers like, what are those? I mean, your boy's not even coming close. I gave him like you a reason for celebration. You number one and I'm Eddie Murphy, we trading places. Look in the mirror, I'm closer than I really appear. Creeping like chili without the tender love and care. No tender love and care, no love and affection. I got a price on my head, but there's a risk to collect it. All right, y'all, so it's the next day. I didn't vlog me cooking dinner. I was gonna vlog me cooking dinner, but I did not. And I'm about to make me some breakfast. I'm trying to be able to like clip my hair. But since I got tapings in, it's hard for the clip to stick because the tapings in the back. Like, it's not sticking on my scalp. Y'all see that? Mm -mm. But yeah, I'll make some breakfast. I had Pilates this morning and my body is really sore. My body was already sore, but now it's like super sore. And I'm gonna run errands today. Um, I have to go to get a new ID because I lost my purse. And my purse had my wallet in there and all that stuff. And you know, I need a new ID to get a new car. It's a real aggravating. Yeah, and the funny thing is, like, I had just lost my ID not too long ago because I lost my other purse. I don't know why I keep losing my purses, y'all. Well, I know why I lost it last time. I keep losing my purses. It's just really getting ridiculous at this point. And yeah, okay, that's the best I can get it clipped, and I don't even know if it's gonna stay like that. Boy, got the full body do rag out. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds doing since he's sliding both in. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck a night, I keep the wallet in my shorty bag. You know she wanna mind when she tattoo that ass. I'm a lover boy, she got a toy. Keep it coming, you a rider. Alright y'all, so I'm ready. I just threw anything on and I tried to like straighten up my hair a little bit, but I didn't like go into details with it. And yeah, hopefully I don't have to take a new picture. But if I do, I just need an ID, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna be like this. Y'all fight like girl, it's not a photo shoot, it's a license picture. But listen, this better be my last ID for a long time because I don't have time to be doing this. Like, this is aggravating. Let's go, y'all. Hopefully I get it.
Y'all, so that took so fast. Excuse my lip gloss. My stuff was coming off, but that took so fast. And I smiled, and I shouldn't have smiled because my smile just looks so cheesy. Like, <laughs> but the lady was like, "Wow, on your last picture, you had poofy hair." Yes, it's not my natural hair. Yes, yes, yes. Is that what you wanted to know? Yes. So now I'm gonna go to the bank and go to the store, get some freezer bags since I'm already outside, and wrap this day up and call this day a day. This day was really just about getting stuff done. I just had to run some errands, get my things in order, get my things in check. But that took so fast. Usually BMVs they take forever to do anything, but I literally came in there, walked out of there in ten minutes. But yeah, yeah. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> All right. So I know y'all probably like, girl, what the. Last time we seen you, you had a full volume lash set. Bust down, middle part, tapings. And the reason to all this is being is, I don't know. I pulled out all my lashes and I was just talking to my lash tech before I got my lashes done last time. And we discussed like, oh, I promise you, girl, I haven't done it in a long time. I'm not going to do it. And last night I was just sitting there like, I don't know. Whenever I'm like stressed about something, baby, them lashes just get plucked off and it's not a good habit. Don't do that. If you get your lashes done, do not be like me and do that. But like, I tend to do that. And then when I don't have my lashes done, sometimes I feel weird, but then sometimes I really miss how my eyes look without the lash extensions. Like, I don't know, it's a weird feeling, but watch next video, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, y'all need my lashes done. So, you know, you just never know what I mean. Like, I'm just very impulsive. But today I'm gonna dye my hair. Oh, back to the tapings. My hair got wet. I'm not about to stay here and wash my real hair with the tapings, blow dry my real hair with the tapings, then still press my real hair with the tapings. I'm not doing no type of maintenance like that. I was willing on maintenance it, like, you know, straightening it sometimes, like, you know, passing the flat iron through. Every here and there, I was not willing on washing my hair with the tapings, like, it's my real hair. That's too much hair going on. Like, my real hair is already very thick. You probably can't even tell because it's all clumped up together because when I washed it, I just brushed it and i just called it a day so like all my curls are like clumped together it's already very thick so i was not gonna have to do that with all the thick hair of the taping extensions too i was not gonna do it which is not gonna work but right now my suit dye my hair it's my friend's birthday well, my birthday is actually tomorrow but her birthday dinner well it's not a dinner it's a sleeping thing it is tonight i had to buy a little outfit yesterday the theme is like loungewear and i didn't want to wear pajamas because i didn't want to like beat my face because i don't really go anywhere so like i take advantage of like any anything to just like be my face so i didn't want to wear like a pj set because i feel like my beat face with the pajamas so i bought a black top to go with some leggings because i don't really like how bodysuits fit me i was gonna try to find like a black bodysuit to put the cardigan over it but bodysuits don't really fit me good because they don't really hug my body in the right places i feel like places that i want them to hug like the waist and like the back it's always a lot of loose cloth and it's not really giving shape you know what i'm saying i have yet to find a bodysuit that is flattering to me so i'm gonna wear that and i also had to run a few errands you know get her her little birthday stuff i love gift giving i gotta put her little i gotta put her little bag together as well but i'm gonna dye my hair i went to sally's yesterday and i got some dark brown hair dye because i dye my hair semi permanent or semi one of those two but it's never permanent because under my hair i had bleached it blonde i want to say like a year and a half ago and ever since then it was a brown color until a few months ago when i did the dark brown and everybody thought it was black but i told y'all it wasn't black i told y'all it was brown now you can see the dye is lifting and in the light it is brown and i'm tired of looking at it being different colors like i just want it to be all one color but i ended up having to get one color that was different than the shades that i did buy from sally's so they had two dark browns and i didn't get one the darkest brown so it's probably gonna really look black like how it did when i first dyed it but it's whatever i'm gonna look mad pale because y'all know the weather you know it just affects how the skin look and i'm about to look just so pale with dark hair in the winter so prepare yourself for that as i'm gonna look probably sick but but it's okay just just ignore it if i look pale just y'all know my true form so we're not gonna go there but yeah so i'm about to dye my hair and hopefully my hair dries but if not i'm gonna go buy a diffuser because my diffuser is broken it's already five o'clock but sipping paint is not gonna start until nine so that's why i am getting ready so late because i didn't feel good this morning i had a migraine and i had a migraine last night too so i was gonna dye it last night but i didn't and here we are but that's why i look 
different than last time y'all saw me. I'm just very impulsive. Life be going on. It's just, this is the real me. Like, this is the me that y'all used to seeing. Like, this is the me. This is just the real me. Like, y'all just get it raw form. And I wasn't gonna film me dye my hair, but I just feel like not one time have I dyed my hair. I don't think that I didn't do it on camera. Like, it's like a ritual. And I don't wanna not do that. Like, why not? I'm just petrified of dyeing my hair because when I dyed my hair in my last apartment, in my last bathroom, I got the hair dyed everywhere because I used a water bottle. So, so I'm just petrified on messing up all the light stuff that I have. But this time, I'm not using a water bottle. I came prepared. But I just realized that I don't have any gloves. I literally just realized that right now. So now I have to go make a stop. And I had all day to do that. And I didn't do that. So this is me, like, always just bad on time management per usual. But anyways, so yeah, I have two dark browns. And then a darkest brown. They didn't have any, and I didn't feel like one to different styles. And then for demi or semi, I'm supposed to use 10 volume developer or whatever, but they didn't have 10 at the beauty supply store. So I got 20, and I'm just gonna dilute it with some water. So hopefully it's not strong enough to actually be permanent, but it still shouldn't be like permanent. Like through time, it should still fade and get lighter, like how it is now. And I'm pretty sure if I just kept like washing my hair, it would just keep fading out. So basically, I'm doing this because if I do want to dye my hair lighter eventually because I know I am gonna want to dye it lighter eventually. I can do that without having to bleach my hair. So yes, I'm, I'm thinking smarter not harder. So this time I can actually just squeeze the dye out like a normal functioning person should have did, but I didn't do it. And I was about to start doing that right now, but now I have to go get gloves. I'll be right back, y'all. So I'm back and I actually did go to Target. My hair is not gonna dry on time. So I got this little $20 blow dryer that comes with a diffuser because I feel like they all do the same thing for real. Yeah, I'm gonna let my hair air dry while I do my makeup. And then I got some gloves. I didn't get the yellow dish gloves this time. Oh, these are actually still cleaning gloves. <laughs> Y'all probably still gonna make fun of me. At least they're not yellow. They're purple. I'm dyeing my hair dark. I'm less neat when it comes to that because I know that I'll basically get everything covered. Ooh, look at my forehead. And I know sometimes I do brush my hair out before I put the dye, but today I don't feel like it. I look like such a kid right now. <laughs> Way better than a water bottle. You might be asking yourself, who dyes their hair before going somewhere? But if you ask yourself that, you are new here. I wanted to be clear that I'm not a hairstylist. I'm not measuring nothing. So as of current, I still have one whole bottle of hair dye. I have no pants on, so I hope I don't get this all over my dyes. Okay, y'all probably like, girl, you do stuff so crazy. <laughs> I know y'all. It's really the ends and the back of my hair that are super light and it's bothering me. So hopefully it just all becomes even. So I don't have time for it. And it's hard because like you can't really see like if it's doing anything because it is a darker color. I'm just trying to make sure that I saturate it. Getting hair dye all over my leg. Oh, and y'all, it was actually easy to take out my tape ins. Well, my friend did it, not me, but used 91% rubbing alcohol. And a lot of y'all said that I was gonna be bald headed. Um, still not bald headed. So you wanna get tape ins and you scared, girl, just make sure you go to like a good person who knows how to do them. And it's not gonna do them to where your real hair is getting ripped out. And when you're taking them out yourself, make sure that you're not ripping them out your hair and you know, do all that stuff. Or it's like tearing out your hair cause it's so heavy, you know, like just make sure whoever you're going to is qualified to do tape ins. And I feel like you probably won't have any problems, but also everybody's hair is different. So don't listen to me, but yeah, I wouldn't really be scared on doing them if you're thinking about doing them so i think that i i'm happy that i tried them out oh my gosh y'all i'm dropping it on my leg that side is done and i still only have like this much but if i have to use the darkest brown i'm gonna go over the darkest brown on the other side too so it's not just like only doing one side darker than the other you know on the bright side like i'm really not getting my um floors dirty or anything on the downside i'm getting myself dirty so but i'm gonna take a shower anyway i'm gonna take a good shower so i could hurry up and do my makeup and hello Hey, baby, I just got my hair now. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know me. Uh, Alright, y'all, so I'm done. Look at my little piece. I'm done dyeing it. Look at all the hair dye I have. I have hair dye all over my legs. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. I have one more bottle left, but I don't know if I even spread it out evenly. I don't have time to know because I have to go. So, we just, it's just, I'm here for a good time, not a long time, you know? But, 
Hopefully I spread it evenly. If not, I really don't even care at this point because I have an extra bottle. So if I have to go through with an extra bottle another time, another day, we'll do that. But right now I'm about to clean up real quick. There's not much to clean up. Like I have to clean up my body because look at this y'all. The rest is not a mess. It's really just me that's a mess. So I have to really clean up, throw the gloves away, put the shower on, scrub dub dub, scrub this body, beat his face and I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna vlog me doing my makeup today because I don't really feel like it. That's just, that's just the tea. I don't really feel like it. And I don't feel like doing that also because it's gonna take a longer time just me trying to talk doing that I'm just trying to do a quick cute beat and skedaddle so I'm gonna just hurry up my timer's on for 15 minutes so clean up take a shower real quick wash my hair style it makeup go this is my hair after dyeing it. And also I broke my nail. But I'm gonna get my nail done this week. They need to get done anyway, because after I dyed my hair, dye got on my nails when I was washing it, not when I was actually dyeing it. And it made the new darker, but Halloween is over anyway. So like the spider webs, they gotta go. And I'm going to Georgia soon. So stay tuned for that vlog, you know, the girl's going to see her mom. But ignore this nail. Like this nail is really pissing me off, y'all. But yeah, so I'm just, it's a regular day and I'm just in the house. I'm just just gonna edit later the footage that i have for this vlog i know this vlog is taking forever to come out and y'all probably like girl you have supposed to be on so long at this very moment but bear with me i don't know how people do it like it only takes them like two days to edit like hours of footage y'all like i talk so much i cut so much stuff out and y'all probably don't even think that because i still talk too much but like y'all probably think like i just be chatting and chatting and chatting and i do but i really be chatting more than y'all really see anyways i had went to at home the other day with my friend and i could have sworn this was my first time I'm going but she was like girl we've been before but i don't remember that and it probably was years ago but i don't even recall me going there ever in life but she said we had been so i don't remember but i have bought a rug for my living room i've been wanting an area rug for a minute my other apartment the little cute rug and the couch that's in my guest room now was in my living room but i have a new couch and i feel like this time i need like you know like a cute little area rug now i'm about to put it out on the floor to see because i bought it and i think it's about like four by six feet long and it was a hundred dollars but i seen one at walmart that was seven by five feet eighty dollars well eighty five dollars so i was like i could get a bigger rug for a cheaper price so i'm gonna just put it on the floor and see how big it is and if i like it because if i like it i'm not gonna go through the whole hassle of like taking it back and buying a new one but let's just see how it looks i bought that and i also bought two pillows from at home now, these pillows are so freaking cute so I got this one. It's like a knot pillow. Like there's a whole bunch of like mini knots within the pillow. And I thought it was just so freaking cute. Y'all know I love texture stuff. And then I also got this pillow. Very, very cute. And I do not like gray at all. But like I feel like gray is light to where like it's barely gray. You can barely tell. Like if you squint, you can't even tell it's gray. But y'all know I love the abstract. And I feel like that's just so cute to go on my couch. Because I don't have no pillows on it right now. I moved the coffee table to see, and the lighting is kind of off because y'all, it's raining. We just had another hurricane in Florida because you know, Florida is very bipolar. So I'm gonna put it on the floor. I have to sweep the area real quick. And then I have to clean my my coffee table anyway. Like I just have to clean it off and reset it because there's so much stuff on there right now. So I'm gonna put the pillows on there and I'm gonna put the rug down. I also bought a vase for at home to go and cover <laughs> this right here, like a floor vase. So I'm gonna get some pompous and I'm gonna put a vase right here. And then I'm gonna get like a little ottoman or a bench to put right here. Something different than a entertainment center. Like just the vase, the pompous coming on top. Really to cover this TV cover. Like it doesn't really bother me because it's like matching my wall, but you could still see kind of the core still. And I just don't want that showing. Like it's just because mm -mm, it's not center because my TV is like how it's mounted and stuff like that. And how the outlet is, how the outlet is not centered. That's why the cord isn't centered. Like in my room, it's centered so it doesn't bother me. But right here, it's like, why is it on the side? That's irritating. So I bought a vase. It's in my car downstairs, so, so I gotta go get it. And I just need to buy some pompous to go in the vase. I went to Michael's Home Goods. All that stuff and they had no pompous that i actually liked so at this point i'm gonna just go outside and just take some myself and put some pompous in here but i'm playing but yeah i'm gonna sweep this area real quick well let me sweep that area first real quick
All right, I said next day I'm gonna go get my nails done. I just left Pilates um, earlier this morning, came home, took a shower, and I just called the salon that I go to and I was like, hey, girl, put your nails on. She was like, yeah, girl, come on, I'm ready for you. I was like, oh, period. So I took a shower real quick and I'm gonna go. I wanna go see if they have some pompous later, but I don't know, it gets late so fast. It's probably three o'clock and it gets late at like 5.30. Well, not late, it gets dark. So the sun starts setting around like 5.20, y'all. So I'm talking about the nail salon. It might be dark already. That's so aggravating, but these nails need to get done. I have a design idea. Well, I have two. I had one last night and then I went on TikTok today and I seen one. So I like this. I don't know if I want it to be white or if I want it to be one hand white, one hand black, or if I want it to be like a cute baby pink. Cause I have to like baby pink in a minute. This is gonna be like my Thanksgiving nails. You know, I wanna make them like, you know, still matching with everything, but I love pink. And also I'm supposed to be getting my iPad. My iPad is in transit, but I don't know. It doesn't say that it's on its way. It just says in transit. And then it also says delayed cause of the hurricane we had that literally stopped at 12 p.m. yesterday. So I want to go pick it up like call FedEx like hey, can I come get my iPad? But it's a pink iPad y'all. I've been wanting an iPad for so freaking long for my birthday A gift to myself is getting my real estate license so I'm gonna need to save files for school and stuff like that. And it's just not gonna work. Like my laptop, my laptop barely is has storage. Like if I try to download something, it might explode. And I don't know why I got the most storage on a laptop, but I think that laptop, I don't know. MacBooks need to do better when it comes to storage. You know, Shay, Apple, but yeah. So I say that and I'm getting another app product, but I've been wanting an iPad. Like, I don't know. I feel like what they say about when you have an iPad, your life come together. I don't know if that's true, but I need any type of life getting together that I could get. So I feel like an iPad I've been wanting one. And I was gonna get an Apple Pen from Apple, but I seen that the Apple Pen, the first generation, and the other one, the first and second generation, are not compatible with the pink iPad. I don't know why. I don't know if that's like a defect. When I asked the guy at Best Buy, he said like literally it's just a hit or miss with the Apple Pen. Like either it works or it doesn't work. He wasn't saying like it's gonna be like a huge difference. And if the Apple Pen wasn't gonna work anyway, it's just like there was just no point in getting it just for it to like possibly not work. So I ordered one from Amazon. So I'm excited to get the pink iPad, y'all. Like it's gonna be so cute. So I got a black case because i do love black like i do like pink but i'm more like you know a black girl like i love black more than anything so i had to get a black case but it's clear so that comes today but it don't matter if the ipad don't come i gotta go hair up and get my nails done but this is the living room i'm going to get a bigger um canvas for here i'm gonna move these two in my room because it just looks awkward with this big couch like i'm not oblivious that it just looks awkward so i'm gonna do that but the pillows do add like a big difference and, and i did bring the vase so when i add the pompous you're literally not gonna be able to see the wire not the wire the tv cover that much i'm just missing like a little ottoman on like a little bench so it's all coming together y'all i'm so excited because i'm very content with how it looks <laughs> My nails are done. I'm in the car right now. As y'all can see, I got them cut down shorter. I told her, cause like it's my second time going to her and I told her like, girl, I promise you, last time when I got long nails, I'm usually not that extra. I'm extra, but I get like simple nails with different cute designs with them. And she was telling me like, oh, I like simple designs. And I was like, good, because that like was a rare occasion. I was feeling spicy. I did miss having my long nails. I did, but I missed like my little, you know, simple nails and like finding cute designs but you did a good job like always and y'all it was so fast like she does them so good and so fast i thought i was gonna walk out here and it was gonna be dark because um i started getting them done at like three something three twenty something like that and it's about to be five o'clock it's four forty she finished at like four thirty so she finished in like an hour and some change y'all that's so fast like for nails yeah so I called FedEx on my package because FedEx said my package is currently in transit but where it's at transit at there's a delay so there's no like delivery date because of the weather but the weather is fine as you can see there's no rain nothing like that so I guess because of them being closed yesterday it backed them up and I guess everything was closed yesterday so I called customer service 
service and they escalated the call to you know like hire up because i'm not playing like i want my ipad and even if it wasn't like an ipad if it was something else i would still want my package like i don't like not being able to see like where it's at and having it just say delay i want to know where it's at i spent my money on something i want to know where it's at so i called and basically she said that she's gonna see the options for me and try to get like urgency with my package and i said i'll go pick it up where it's at where it's at is like 30 minutes away from me that's nothing i drive an hour away in like 30 minutes so i was like girl i'll go pick it up no problem but i wasn't gonna call back from that so i couldn't do my little ipad unboxing because i'm so excited and then after that i'm gonna start you know prepping for like my trip next week y'all gonna see me prep for that well it's not really a trip it's just going to you know see my mom well that is a trip because it's six hour away drive and yeah i don't know if i'm gonna drive yet or fly i probably am gonna drive in case i do want to go somewhere and mom's at work or something like that i don't want to be stuck in the house like even though i don't be going nowhere i don't like being forced to do anything even though i don't be doing anything anyway you know so yeah i'm gonna go to the store and buy some garlic bread because i'm gonna cook tonight and then next time i will see you guys is when i get my ipad and my case should be coming today but there's no point in me showing y'all my case if i don't got the ipad to put in the case it's ridiculous and hopefully the case even fits because knowing me i tried to do it as descriptive as possible but it might not be and there's people in the car next to me and they probably looking at me like girl what is wrong with you filming yourself but yeah nails is thin i feel good okay because the halloween nails is cute but after halloween them nails need to come off immediately like i'm not that mm -mm. like i don't that's why i can't do holiday nails because after the holiday is over wrap it up and that's what i did so i'll see you guys later all right it's the next day my ipads came and as y'all can tell i was excited y'all i'm wearing pink <laughs> but yeah i had to call fedex and they escalated my order because if not it would have been stuck wherever it was at because they had a delay because of the weather but the weather has been fine now and i've already been like waiting for a minute i feel like because of the delay and forget so i had to make sure i called because i was not gonna play so i gotta go in my mailbox and get it so yeah we finna go get it and i'm gonna unbox it for y'all the first time that i seen a pink one that same week i was like oh yeah we need to get it so yeah I'm gonna go downstairs in my little mail area and go pick it up and then I'm gonna unbox it for y'all so we can really see the contents. My case also came so I'm gonna put my case on it today too. Hopefully it fits because knowing me I'm a little off in the head sometimes. But yeah let's go get this iPad y'all. I'm headed for nothing. No turn of the sun to from nothing. Yeah. Made it through poverty on our minority. You never start. Hop on the jet on my property and fly away. Fly, fly, fly away. Call me a present, yeah, yeah. Straight out of the trenches, yeah, yeah. My niggas can't whip me, yeah, yeah. The richest, the richest, the richest, yeah. Rich nigga got on seats, yeah. All of these hoes can't wait, yeah. All tomorrow we get a JV, yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to fight temptation. Top gun. So I'll open the iPad as y'all can see. She's gorgeous. Like 10 out of 10 are one of my favorite impulsive purchases. But I wouldn't call it impulsive because I've been wanting an iPad. You could ask everybody. I'll be like, oh my god, I want an iPad. And they be like, girl, what you need an iPad for? Because it's just like I'm missing it in my life. Thank you. No, like this time I actually need one. Like for when I seen a pink one, I was like, oh, I gotta get it. So now I'm about to set it up real quick. It still looks so good in the case, y'all. Like, and I do love black, so it's like perfect for me. But I had to put it in the case immediately because knowing me, um, yeah, no. But I do have Apple Care because, mm mm. Oh, I gotta set up my Wi Fi. I don't even know what my Wi Fi password is. Okay, I'm doing touch ID. It's this case that's making me struggle. Hold on. She's set up. Hey girl, what's tea? I don't like how my caller ID is not my number. Like, why is it my iCloud? That's so ugly. How do I change this? Madness. Like, why is it my caller ID? I feel like this is so big. I feel like it looks small here. All right, y'all. Let's hope this actually works. Is there a charge to this? I'm confused. Oh, it charges on the volume. Y'all probably like, girl, you so stupid. <laughs> don't be judging me, okay? Y'all see it's getting dark outside already. It's not even late. Okay, it works. Period. Period. Okay, wait. It says long press the screen to add a battery widget to display the remaining power of the pen in real time. Period. Wait, how can I make the widget different? Like, why is it not? Y'all, I don't know how to act. Oh my gosh. I want to see how I could draw. We get a new home screen because that home screen is just ugly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, 
I gotta customize it, but that's gonna be off camera because I gotta eat. It's me saying I want an iPad to get my life together and I'm over here drawing. Sorry, y'all, my camera died. Y'all see my little Amazon box in back? I'm about to just eat and play on my iPad tonight and just see, you know, what things I could do, you know, because now I'm part of the group. But yeah, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Bye, y'all.